Okay, let's start with the makeup. And as you can see, I have again done the other eye first, just because um, I wanted to see how it looks like. That is it worth um, filming. I got inspired by Tia's look, Tia's makeup time. Um, sorry, I couldn't get my phone to open. So I'll link her YouTube channel and her Instagram account uh, to the description box. But this is the look that she made, has made. I haven't, of course, done the under eyes yet. This beautiful look. So yeah, let's go with it. So I'm using the Sample Beauty Paradigm Shift uh, Volume 2 palette. I'm also using the Beauty by Pastels palette to blend. And the glitter is from the Makeup Revolution Acra Padabra, but I don't know, glitter palette. And it's this shade in here. And of course the Sheen um, Pastel Fantasy uh, Water Activated Liner. So I'm going to start with the shade Formula first, which is this green, and I'm going to blend it with this one. And then I'll take a shade from the Pastos palette. Um, for the purple, purple is this purple, and then this one, then there's pink, this one, and this lighter pink. So. So let's start with those. I'm starting with the Morphe eyeliner brush. This is, you know, it's uh, quite thick to be an eyeliner brush. So I start with the color formula first. Um, having troubles organize myself because I have bought a new mirror and it takes very much space from the from the table. So I'm just doing kind of line here just a slightly above the crease. I did my harder eye first again. And then I'll take this kind of small flat brush from Shellas and I take the dark purple. It's called Community. so hot here again but I can't keep the door open because it's about 5 a.m. and my boyfriend is still sleeping. Like that. I'm going to put more the green, dark green. Then I start to blend. I'm starting with the green and this is um, Flyer 304 Detailed Blending Brush. Why does this look so dark? I don't know. No idea. Uh, so I take this shade uh, Goals next. Goals. Goals. Then I'll take the a second purple we used. It's called Journey. These sample beauty shadows are so pigmented and beautiful shades. 
I'm very happy that I bought this palette. I, I had been thinking about it for quite some time and put it in my basket and took, took it away from the basket and putting it in again and um, I'm kind of uh, feeling like I want to buy more of their palettes but I think I have to slow down now for a bit because I have spent so much money uh, in a short time now so I ordered the She Glam stuff which they are in Finland already but I don't know when I'll be able to do the She Glam haul video I bought some storage uh, systems from Aliexpress and my plan is to uh, throw away or all, or all our uh, DVDs because no one is watching them anymore and then put the stuff that are in the in the uh, storage uh, system malm from ikea to the to the storage system that has the dvds in it and then i can move the empty storage system to here in my makeup room so i don't have to store them behind me back there now So I bought some storage systems and then now I take the pastels palette and I take the shade cloud free and I'm mixing it with this green gold days. So yeah and I bought an uh, earring storage system it's um it has a spot for 360 earring so 180 pairs like i have the about 50 pairs so it's maybe gone a bit overboard but it was so cheap and Oh, this was Shella's brush. This doesn't have a name. And it, yeah, so it was... <clears throat> I wanted to some room and I, I, then when it comes I can put it on the display behind me. If I want to. And then I'll take the pink shade, which is called Manifestine. Manifesting, I'm using the Flyer uh, 302 rounded blending brush for it. I'm just going back and forth with the colors to till I'm happy about the blend. I actually think that I took wrong pink. I think I was supposed to take the one next to it. It's called Creator. I'm using it now to lighten this a bit. And this blow up so large. And for some reason it doesn't want to blend either. But I took quite time with the other side too. 
it took um, about an hour. I'm hoping I can get this to the point where I can start to do base before my boyfriend wakes up. So I don't have to like, you know, like stop the filming because in the middle of doing the eye because I'm doing the base off camera. I don't get it now. Why isn't it blending? And then I take uh, Jessup 221 Looks Soft Crease. I'm affiliated with Jessup. I'll put the code in the screen. You also get 15% of your order. I'm taking this uh, shade called Flawless which is kind of very light, light cream color, bone color, or something like that. And, and the one brush that I use, the second purple is 228 Lux Crease. Then I'll just go through the shades again. dark went so much higher on this side than the other side. Accidents happen. We just have to live with them. Okay, let's try again. This is the second purple I'm using now, called Journey. And I'm moving this brush a lot smaller area now than earlier. I forgot to put the primer. Now we need to fix that. That's why it doesn't want to blend now. You shouldn't be doing makeup in the middle of the night. <laughs> but if you can't sleep, then why not? <clears throat> Take 
taking the dark again to the under eyes. Um, in the picture, the under eyes is blue, and that's probably what I'm going to do too. It's been snowing like 15 centimeters today. And I went to the city center uh, to go to a pharmacy. And even the main road of the city center wasn't fully uh, mm, only the other lane has had uh, been taking the snow off the other didn't it's in Finland uh, in the um, uh, the um, streets where bus goes are the priority number one when it when we talk about getting rid of the snow in the streets like where I live that ends is a dead end. Um, we are lucky if we get uh, it taken care of once a uh, well, couple times uh, in the winter. So like last winter we had um, had snowing and the The middle, you know, where between the tires, the middle, um, there was gathering some snow, and it was so high that uh, the car um, bottom, how do you call it? I don't know. Uh, uh, heated it when you drove it. It was kind. Of Quite interesting. It looks a lot better now. It doesn't go so dark all the way to the eyebrow. My nose starts to itch again. Oof. Okay, it's 5 a.m. now. I'm just looking at how much I have time. I'm probably gonna keep blending this a bit more um, when I do my base. Now just showing you how I did it. I still want a bit darker green. I actually think I mix mixed this with the other green because I didn't want it to look so blue. Let's do the cut crease. I have this kind of flat, uh, round brush. I find this the easiest brush to use to uh, make the cut crease. So let's do that. And if you have hooded eyes, uh, you should do the cut crease with eyes open so you can see how high you have to take it to still show after I mean to still show the eyeshadow cut crease eyeshadow when you have eyes open 
Then I'm going to clean it with the micellar water and a Q-tip. again okay then for as the base of the Glitter, I used uh, yellow eyeshadow from the Sample Beauty palette. This is called Positivity. It's just bright yellow. I think this is not round enough. I'm talking to myself. On the other eye, I did the glitter first and then the liner. But I think in on this side I'll do the liner first because um, then you don't have to clean the glitter away if you mess up the liner. Where? So I have the Sheen Pastel Fantasy 9 color eyeliner, water activated eyeliner palette. I use this shade. And at the same time when I bought the uh, palette, I bought three eyeliner brushes. This is the smallest one. This is um, a 00. Where did I put them? there this is just you wet your brush and um, then they uh, dip it to the uh, liner and make a paste I'm not very, very good at doing this doing this liner uh, graphic liners but I want to practice, so one day I'll be good with it. That's why I have done quite a lot of the looks with the graphic liner after I got this palette. Because I want to learn new stuff. <laughs> These are so good. It's amazing. Okay. Then I'll take a Q-tip again. Make it a thinner line. That was too much. It took me forever to get the other eye the way I wanted and still isn't perfect, but it will do now. Then I need to wait it to dry a bit so I can do the other layer. I don't understand why did I clean it before that brain fart or something. Sorry, my mouth gets really tired. Tired. Dry. 
I am tired. I'm speaking some weird stuff at the moment. I'm not crazy, I'm just tired. I do the second layer now. And then you have to remember that I'll actually take this a bit further. Remember when using these water activated liners that you have to let them dry open. to go back and forth whole night Just there. and then I'll use the yellow eyeshadow from the shampoo beauty palette again I don't get it why there's a no it doesn't show in here I see in the mirror that there's a dark spot. Mm. Then I need my glitter glue. Uh, I'm using Mega Revolution glitter glue this time. And you, you, um, you shouldn't. I mean, you don't have to use a um, glitter glue with the pressed glitters. I like to use this isn't working <laughs> just leave it alone now a little bit of purple doing a bit differently than the other side I'm going to blend this before I put the put the um, glitter I should have done this blending before I did the liner So now the glitter glue, just make a revolution glitter glue, I'm taking it to the back of my hand, and then I take Beauty Bay brush. This is shade out. It's kind of flat and round too. Then I work the glitter glue to the brush and dab it on. It's lifting the shade, uh, the shadow a bit, but it doesn't matter because I put the glitter on top of it. And then I use my finger. For the glitter, I'm gonna show it to you in a sec. I just want to put it on when the glue is still wet. taking the brush that I used for the glue to get the edges like that so the shade I use is kind of duochrome it's 
kind of purple, pink, green, which actually has a lot more shades than I have noticed because when I look at it like this, it has green and a light pink, but then when I twist it around, I can see the purple too, so I don't know, is it dual chrome or or um, <clears throat> multi-chrome? Okay, so this is this is how far we have gotten now. I have done the back liner on the other side already. And then I'm going to use tape to get the glitter uh, fallout away. And I'm going to take a break now. Mm. Break now and then I'll come back to film. Fi no, I'm not going to film the face. Because this video is so long already. But yeah, um, I'll come back when I've done the base and do the under eyes with you. And probably I have done all the rest of the makeup already by then. And just the under eyes missing. Okay, I got a little bit carried away and forgot I was supposed to do a lower lash line with you. So I did it without you. So uh, for the lower lash line, I did blue. Uh, I used the Paradigm Shift shades Revival and Revelation. This one and this one. Uh, and also I used a little bit of this shimmer called Iconic. And then uh, for the inner corner and brow bone I used BH Cosmetics Venom palette and the shade called Deadly Bite which has a blue shift but I don't think you can you can see it in the camera but maybe you can see it in, in my eye not in my eye on my eye anyway then um, I used an Miss Beauty London uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade One Bare All and Lip Love Lip Gloss in the shade Rosé. Uh, I got two of these kind of lip glosses in Bay, Bay Box, December Bay Box, and mm, this this feels so comfortable. It's not sticky at all. And it feels very hydrating and it's very comfortable feeling. So if you're into lip glosses, go check out uh, Lip Love. And for the tight lining, I used, where is it? Well, I used Rimmel Exaggerate uh, Eyeliner Pencil in the shade 264, 264 Earl Grey. And for that my waterline, I used 240 Aqua Sparkle. So yeah, that was the things today. Oh, I forgot I used a new highlighter that I bought. that I bought from Prisma today. This is from Makeup Academy Shimmer Highlighting Powder. This is in the shade Iridescent Gold. It's pretty nice color. It looked like, again, it looked like silver uh, when I was at the store, but it is, you can see it's gold. But this always happens to me. But yeah, this was the video. Um, this is the finished look. How do you think I did? Uh, did I do justice for Tia's look even though I um, made it my own version of it? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you every time I upload a new video. Uh, and do you have any suggestions? Uh, do you, is there some palette you want to see um, again or 
with a bigger review and yeah these kind of things um that's all today and see you next time bye